Hi there. Welcome back. Now that you've had a chance to do your boat project, where you built your aluminum boat and floated it with pennies, today, now you have a back reference for what to do in, um, on today's project, where we look at the actual problem solving process. Um, it's really important to have a strategy for approaching any problem that you have. Um, maybe it's a issue you have with your brother or sister. Maybe it's a maybe it's regarding um, getting a new dog. Maybe it's um, a problem you're having in making a website or whatever. Um, so let's take a look. So in the define part, define is where you name the problem you're trying to solve. So yesterday or the day before you built a boat and your job was to put as many pennies in as you could. So the, the problem is build a boat that can solve many or hold many pennies. The constraints are the limitations you have. You had one piece of foil that was that size. Those, that's your constraint. You can't touch it. You can't do anything else, and you got to use pennies, uh, or if you use Legos or some other sort of, um, but you're only able to use one. Um, one type of um, something to put inside. So... Those are your, that's constraints. So constraints are the limitations that you have in building something. If you're building a pig playground, you might have a limitation. This is the most common one of money. If you are going to buy a video game, maybe you only have five bucks. Well, looks like you're buying an app for your phone um, at most. What does success look like? You might set a goal, a success uh, what, what does it look like to be successful? Now, we built two boats, so it's possible that success is just having even one more penny in there. Maybe you set a goal of 70 pennies and you reached it, uh, whatever the case may be. But what success looks like is dependent upon how your project goes um, or what your goal is for the project. Prepare. So you guys prepared by brainstorming and drawing and figuring out what you wanted to do. You compared some of the pros and the cons to the, uh, in the project. Um, also, you made a plan. So that's where you drew it out, wrote your ideas, and then you tried it by actually putting pennies into the boat one at a time and seeing how long it would flow. Finally, you reflect. How do your results compare to the goals you've set while defining the problem? What can you learn from this or do better next time? What new problems have you discovered? And sometimes, um, you know, while you start making this, you might learn that there's a new problem. Okay, maybe there's a leak and maybe there's a hole. Maybe, um, Everything has a positive and negative. Um, I'll give you an example. In Saudi Arabia, they're trying to build a new tallest building. Um, they wanted to make it one kilometer tall. And it turned out, uh, though they had the capabilities of doing it, the ground wasn't going to be able to take the weight. So that was a new problem they discovered. So they weren't going to um, be able to surpass the building in the United Arab Emirates. They'd have to settle for something a little bit shorter. Um, or maybe they were going for a mile and they couldn't go, they had to go for a kilometer. So what it looks like, you're going to list the strategy you, strategies you use and processes um, in here. So this is for the building challenge um, for your boat. I'm going to ask you, so what, did, what were the areas of define? What did you do to define the project? Okay, so look up here. What problems are you trying to solve? What constraints did you have? For prepare, what 
What did your brainstorm look like? What was your plan? For try, what did you do to try, test it out? Reflect, and then what did you do to improve it? Refer to up here. Um, make sure you refer to the above. So what about a problem here? And then once you're done with that, once you've gone through that, pause, and then roll down to the next part. A problem you're good at solving. So think about a problem you're good at solving. Maybe you're good at uh, getting your brother and sister to, um, to get along. Maybe you're good at making money. Uh, maybe you... Um, got better at playing soccer or uh, fast pitch or something like that. But how, what was the problem? And then once again, refer to the define, the questions and define, the parts of prepare, what it looked like to try that, and then the reflect. Okay. Kind of one thing I should reckon, what should kind of refer back to is, you know, Anytime you have goals, that's referring to what did the, what does success look like? Um, having success is important, but being able to name your success, that's super huge. Um, if you don't know what success looks like, you might need to set a goal. Um, and then a problem you and a classmate want to get better, maybe something that you want to get better at solving. Find somebody, talk to a and figure out the type of problem you both could get better at solving. Um, so maybe it's uh, a problem, maybe it's a math problem, or maybe it's uh, better understanding poetry. Maybe it's just learning how to swim. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a problem, but something that you would like to get better at. Um, I had a goal of climbing this one hill that's thousand feet tall and it's a mile it's almost two miles and I wanted to climb that with a 50 pound backpack on in less than 30 minutes so that's my success that's what success looks like um, and my prepare so how did I prepare okay I had to come up with an idea of um, how to make it quicker, how to put together a playlist. Uh, my plan was going to be uh, training, you know, like, so I did get it down to 31 and a half minutes, um, working my tail off. But anyway, reflecting, I guess I could do it a few more times, maybe train a little bit more and get there. My goal was before September. I didn't quite make it, but I did improve by about nine minutes. Um, anyway, so a type of problem isn't necessarily a, like, oh, this is a terrible thing, I've got a problem, I don't know how to fix it, but more like um, how to get better at something or what have you. So that's what this implies, this is what it refers to, and you can work on the project uh, starting now, and don't be afraid to ask for help um, when you need it. Thanks a lot.